Will someone tell me what's wrong with wanting to be good? I beg your pardon? Oh, just because their dad's a policeman, they're determined to be difficult. I don't know. Sister's a little demon. Apparently the school are aware of family problems and they're trying to tread carefully. I'll tread carefully on her head. Right, everyone here? Excuse me, Mr Capriano. Oh, sorry, Mum. I know it may sound old-fashioned, but if you have got any information on the case, I'd be grateful if you'd share it with all of us. Not just the computer. Sorry, Mum. Well? Well, I've been talking to Sands counsellor. Mm, so I believe. And? Well, he wouldn't tell me anything. He says it's all confidential. Oh, well, that's helpful. How else have you been wasting your time? Well, I think the DCI might be right. We might be barking up the wrong tree. Sands appears to be better. The counselor said he hasn't seen him for three months. Really? And you accept that? Well, he's the expert. Is he? What's he got? Letters after his name? So he hasn't seen him for three months? Couldn't it just be that the patient hasn't bothered turning up for three months? Or, with hundreds of people on his books, our expert hasn't bothered to follow it up. What would you say if I told you that, in my humble opinion, Sergeant Sands is a gibbering wreck? Well, You'd prefer to listen to the expert, even if he doesn't know his ass from his elbow. Yes, hello? Right. Thank you. I believe in nipping things in the bud, and if I think that for a moment she's got it in for George because he was my appointment... No, 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 surely not. I can't believe she's far too... I won't stand for it. Susan, she's brilliant with trainees. That's her forte. She has a great deal of experience, I grant you that. And she has ways of letting me know I don't have the same experience. You make a great team. Well, we have to work together. So I sit with her, I try to talk about things, not just police things. But she's got to understand that in the end, whatever my age, whatever my background, she has to respect... She does. You are her boss. There is no question. Come in. What's going on? Oh, you're here. Uh, sorry? What's all this about handing over the case? I'm in the process of building a relationship with the family of the main suspect. It's complicated. The father's a police officer. That's why it has to be handed over. I am trying to establish a trust. But you know Sergeant Sands. I am trying to know Sergeant Sands. Well, that's the problem. The father of the main suspect is a serving officer at this station. I question, therefore, when you say trust, what exactly that trust means. What are you suggesting? We need 100% impartiality. You're questioning my impartiality? I want the case handed over. We're dealing with a family here. No, we're not dealing. That's my point. And this is nothing personal, OK? I'm not questioning anyone's impartiality. I want you to prepare for a smooth handover, please, and I want all the paperwork up to date. What if I said that I was that close to getting a result? Maisie. Sir. I'll ring the green. They're already running three murders. They're in no hurry to take on a fourth. Okay? Well, if she's close to a result. Thank you. What I actually said was what if I was that close to getting a result. But still no joy. I've got a burglar in Little Venice. Where is everyone? Sarah Sands has done a runner. Sarah Sands? Yes, ma'am. So they're out. Is there anything to link Sarah Sands to the events of Saturday night? Not yet. And you're still pursuing it? A man is dead, and what have we got on him? Mickey? Difficult. It's very sketchy. Very sketchy. Is that it? Mum? If I could just say, Mum, observing the behaviour of father and son, well, I think I'm with the boss on this. Um, there's something going on within that family. There's a way you react if you're innocent. From the beginning, they didn't react like that. It's in the eyes. I think 
as the DIG suggested, we should find Sarah and we should bring Rory back in. I don't think we'd be wasting our time. Right. Thank you, George, for that. Miss Askey's brilliant. She'll be a commissioner one day, but I don't think she could spot a villain at the Cray's birthday party. Don't worry, Muriel. You know the form. It's just a few questions. He'll be back soon. We're not arresting him or anything like that. Just reassure John. Oh, yeah. Is he all right? What do you think? Can I do anything? You can get out of the house. You could leave us in peace. I'm sorry, Muriel. You will tell me if Sarah turns up. I'll be at work. Shouldn't you take the night off? Oh, yeah. And you'll pay the bills now. There's no overtime coming in. You'll pay, will you? George, take Rory to the car. I want to see John. Don't be stupid. I'm sorry. I must. I'll be very quick. Feeling a bit dodgy? Listen, John. I wanted to knock all this on the head, but... Your Sarah's done a runner. Why would she do that? Was it just the bracelet the other night? I mean, a bracelet, gold or not, it's nothing, is it? Kids these days, they swap clothes, jewellery. I've run a check on it. What made you so sure it was stolen? She steals from her mother. From me. Oh, right. It's odd, isn't it, that? It's amazing the amount of kids that steal from their parents. Why do they do that? It's one of them deep psychological things, isn't it? Isn't it weird? The brain... Please. Don't talk to me anymore. Do you want the doctor? Oh, no. That's the odd thing about those psychological things, isn't it? She wouldn't know why she does it either, would she? I think that's what I find the most frightening, you know. Same for me. The things you feel and do in life, you don't know why you feel or do them. Please stop talking. OK, OK. I will. If you'll talk to me, I'll shut up. <laughs> is that for a do I? I know how difficult it is, you see. You know, I lost my old man. Sometimes I get so mad. But I can't talk about that. Not to a soul on this earth. Counselors. Useless prats, aren't they? I'm like you, Zippo. That's my business. But then, time comes when we've all got to face up to what's happened to us. Go away! <laughs> what's he trying to do? you dare go to work tonight. I'll get him help. I promise. She must have something to hide. She hasn't run away for no reason. She hasn't run away. She just don't like talking to coppers. <laughs> we can blame her. Well, I hope you're happy. Hey? Broke my heart. What did, Kelvin? Well, I got rid of the videos. Oh. Oh, well, thank you, little brother. I really appreciate that. You're an angel. <laughs> That's swapping for fags. From where? What sort of fags? Just fags.
What? Oh, what, you want me to ask them where they come from? Mum? Yeah, you wanted me to let you know. Yeah, she's coming home. No, she's not in the street. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, Mum. Sorry, Steve. I let you down. I never thought about a skylight. It's all right, Mum. I don't think we had a skylight. What is it? Sorry. Come with me. Wakey, wakey, Sarah. Sarah. Get off that bed and get downstairs now. You can't speak to me like that. You got a warrant? Sarah. Did you see that? You're not helping, are you? No fault. Oh, Sarah. No, hold on a minute. It's all your fault. Why did you come after me? I said you couldn't go out. Muriel, you got any socks? What? Because I'm going to stuff one in the mouth of the next person that speaks. Right. Now behave yourselves. So... Madam, did you go out on Saturday night? You can speak to me now. I'm asking you a question. You can answer me here or down the station. It's no good, Sarah. We both went out. Some brother you are. Why did you go out? To get some fresh air? I had to get some money. From a cash machine? Very funny. I was owed some money. Not by Jason Hurley, by any chance? Jason something, I don't know. He owed me something. A bracelet? A watch, if you must know. He promised me 50 quid. He gave me 10, said he had to get it checked. And you trusted him? Why not? I didn't. That's why I went. He bought a few things off me before. It'd been all right. We was meeting at a football ground. He turned up and said it was a fake. Was it? It was hallmarked. I'm not that stupid. He wouldn't give it me back. Said it was his now. It wasn't my watch. I was selling it for a mate at school. I had to get it back. How did you get it off him, Sarah? We had a row. I grabbed it. He tried to grab it back. I stabbed him in the hand. Wrist? It was dark. I couldn't see. Someone shouted police. That was me, you stupid girl. He wasn't there. I followed you. I lost you and then I heard you shouting. Well, you shouldn't interfere. I can look after myself, Dad. I ran for it. I didn't hit him on the head or anything. I just ran for it. Tell her, Rory. Yeah, we ran. That was when I must have been seen. Are you sure? Yeah. No. Sorry. We did. We ran. You were seen running towards the football ground, Rory. No. By five witnesses. I came back. I could hear Dad shouting. You know how it echoes in the stand. I knew he was in the football ground. He chased the man over the fence. I was worried for him. I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. I thought he was selling her drugs. Are you sure about that, John? I was trying to catch him. But I couldn't get hold of him. You were trying to arrest him? We were on the terraces. I got a hand on his jacket. He kicked me. I saw red. I pushed him down the steps. He stumbled. He fell. I heard his head crack on the concrete. He didn't move. I felt sick. Why me? Every time it's me. Whatever I say now, no one's going to believe me, just like the last time. Like the football riot? You arrested a kid then, didn't you? He tried to cut my face, and they accused me. They accused me! I was just doing my job, and they accused me of using excessive force. Here it was happening all over again. Was he unconscious, Jason? It's always me. You left him. You walked away, yeah? It's 
just not fair. It's all my job. Did you witness this, Rory? Not the scaffold, no. When I got it, it was over. Why didn't you tell me before? I and shot my own father. He shot you? No. I didn't see what he'd done. Didn't you ask him? I was so angry. I could have been done for murder. Don't you lot ever talk over breakfast? Don't eat breakfast. You should try it. I think it's wrong that they can force us to take leave. It's very important. Gives the rest of us a break. And look what you do while I'm away. He done all right in the end, I suppose. Kipri Arnu. Even the name. I have to admit. Nice. Got a lot going for him. A lovely bum. I might have to detain him for questioning myself at some point. If I can cure him of bad habits, like listening to the DCI. Oh, brilliant, though she may be. See, with her, it's all up here. When it should be here. No, in theory. Coming up next here on UK TV Drama, Stephanie Cole and Stephanie Beecham star in Tenko. <laughs> 